Hey guys, it's me, Comus1, and welcome to another week of FNAF Weekly News. We got a lot of new stuff this week. We got some new Hex Plusies. We got some news about the 10th anniversary of Five Nights at Freddy's. So now let's do the more so. Hex is revealed with old Golden Freddy's collector card. With old Golden Freddy, with old Chica, and Springtrap Plusies will be available on the 34th. So we got now the final card of uh, with old Freddy. We got Springtrap and now Chica's, but now we have with old Golden Freddy, and it's him doing his iconic pose from like FNAF 2 I think and he looks all beat up of course you know but he, it's it's very cute looking I really like the attention to detail with the uh image and I can't wait for us to actually have it uh, I don't know it's coming out May 34th so uh that's only a little bit I think we have to wait for but yeah there we go it's pretty cool looking we also got some more hex news so while not confirmed the hex has expressed a desire for a DJ music man plus in the future Darko said uh, to this person that was asking for DJ Music Man uh, Hex Plus for 24 days. He said, Darko here, gonna try my best to cook something up in the future. So, there could be something in the future for DJ Music Man, which is gonna be cool. I wonder how big it's gonna be because he's probably the biggest animatronic in Five Nights at Freddy's. So, we just gotta wait and see. Uh, I wonder how cool it's gonna look like. Darko does, like, his brain Hex does cook with these designs. So, we just gotta wait and see, like, pretty much of everything we have here. But, very cool idea. I want. I can't wait to see how it actually looks like. Now, I think this is our final March news. So, Jay's Wells has acquired a Master Toy and Plus license for Five Nights at Freddy's and will launch a collection of products in 2025. Jay Wells Five Nights at Freddy's collectibles will include action figures, play sets, plus pet toys, collectibles, and more. Uh, so, this is a company that's going to be making new FNAF products in 2025. There is a controversy right now going on between them because... There was something bad. I don't. I'm not sure if you guys want me to say anything about it on uh, what you guys want me to say. Because if you guys want me to say what I think on the situation, you can. Because I'm trying not to get political on this channel. But uh, if you wanted me to say uh, what I think about this, tell me in the comments, and I will get reply to one in the comments, and I'll give you my stance on this. But they are making toys. I'm not sure if the Funko license is gonna end. Which I hope it isn't. I'm not the biggest fan of Funko, but they do make products and people love them, even though most of them are wee skins and stuff like that. But new company gonna be taking over the morts probably. I'm not sure if, like I said, I'm not sure if uh, Funko's getting, like, not having the license anymore. But I think they still are because that Five Nights at Freddy, that collab they're having is gonna be in the game. So we just gotta wait and see yet again. And, uh, but. Tell me what you guys think. Uh, if you guys want me to make a response to this Jay's Wells thing, I, wor I will in the comments. So, yeah. So now we have a book news. So a preview of each chapter adaptation in the upcoming Fazbear Fights graphic novel collection 5 has been released. So the graphic novel uh, collection includes the stories, jump for tickets, see bodies, and find player 2. The book releases on September 3rd, 2024. So it's coming out September 3rd, uh, I never read these books, and I did only read the graphic novel for uh, the Silver Eyes. So maybe I could like read this if I can find a copy online or something. But if you're excited, tell me. Uh, I never read these. I'm not sure how good these stories are. I'm not. I I know nothing about Fazbear Fights. I think I only know Into the Pit, and I'm the game's coming out, so I might just play the game over the reading the book, you know. But it's pretty cool that they're gra getting graphic novels, because honestly. I read the Silver uh, Eyes, the, the like the book book, not the graphic novel, and it was kind of boring, too much detail and stuff. But if you guys like the graphic novels, we're getting a new one, which is pretty awesome. So guys, we got some fan game news for Pop Go. So uh, an encrypted teaser has been released for a 2024 goaded final update to Pop Go's arcade, and there was like a teaser image though. I'm not sure what it says. It's like all blurred out, and this uh, logo Pop Go's arcade. Uh, I never played a Pop Goes game. I don't know the Quaidle at all. I don't know what type of games he plays. I know that's ironic since I've been in the community for a long time. I just and never been interested really. Uh, but if you guys are excited, tell me. Uh, tell me if it's good or not. Because I could play one of the games. I could make a video off of it if you guys want me to. Because uh, I have nothing to record right now. There was plenty of FNAF games releasing. But if you guys want me to play something, tell me, please. It helps me out. But Encrypted to Teasel. Uh, Final update, I'm not sure how long this has been going, I'm sure it's been like three years or something, I know games take time, but I'm pretty sure, pretty sure Scott's helping him out, so like, 
what's taking so long, but you can't list development, I guess. But that's all the fan games news. We don't got a lot of fan game news, but we do got the biggest news I'm saving at last, like I always do. So we got the 10th anniversary stuff. So an official Five Nights at Freddy's and Scott Games news account has been made by Scott Cotham. So here's what Scott said. Hello, everyone. This is an important update, and I'm happy to sell it. What it has been my go-to place over the years to shell post news and announcements, but I'm going to be moving away from that and instead have a more official news source and announcements with an official Scott Games Twitter uh, X account ma managed by a team of people who aren't me, which is good. Uh, the new Twitter account is uh, right there. There's a link. I'll put it in the description if you guys want to check it out. So please keep an eye for it for FNAF news in the future. Okay, everyone, have a nice weekend. So this is some big news. So now... We're getting an official place for announcements for if anything bad happens, Scott doesn't have to get a wedding and stuff like that. So there's going to be an official Twitter page for anything uh, to news, announcements, and stuff like that. So that is good. And it's not handled by Scott, so it's more professional than Scott. Because if you guys remember the Pinky Post situation, he did not handle that the best and he kind of said some dumb stuff. But this is awesome news. This also confirms some things that we may be getting some news in the future, like very close to the future. So I can't wait for that. It's gonna be very cool, but yeah, news, news. I hope I I I have a feeling that we're gonna be getting news, news like very soon, very very soon. So we just gotta wait. I'm not sure when that World Box game's gonna come out into all the other products that are like projects that are going on. Uh, FNAF 4 2 uh, into the pit release date. There's a lot of things we could talk about, like. Uh, Click Team, I think they're working on two FNAF games, maybe. I'm not sure. Based off that uh, little bit of redesign, I'm thinking of another FNAF award game, which would be cool. I like RPGs. I never played it, but I plan on playing it when I play all the games in chronological order. So uh, that's going to be fun. Uh, that cup, that rainbow is going to be the pain of my existence. Here's a logo. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the logo. Here's the official logo. It's like orange, funny, 10th. 10 years, not the best design in my opinion. I'm not a graphic designer, so I can't say much, but there's a logo. I'll throw it up right here. It's cool, I guess. Uh, if you guys like it, tell me. Uh, tell me if you guys like anything, and also for the stance thing on the j Wells. if you guys want me to make a stance on what what's happening, I'll comment, to, I'll comment on a comment, and I'll pin it so you guys can see, okay? But that's all the news I have this week. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. I couple news every Friday, so... If you guys like me covering news, like this video and subscribe and tell me and I will see you guys next week. Goodbye.